Both Pfizer and Moderna have announced they're working on a booster shot in case a variant of the virus starts to escape the vaccine. But a new study out today from San Diego researchers offers some encouraging clues about the durability of our immunity against mutations. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth with one of the lead researchers. By now, we've heard of the UK variant, the South Africa variant, the Brazil variant, and now the California variant. Each mutation shown in red changes the virus's shell ever so slightly. This week, Moderna released a small study showing antibodies produced by its vaccine still fit the UK variant just fine, but fewer neutralizing antibodies recognized the South Africa variant. Their effectiveness dropped 83% or sixfold. Is that concerning? Yes, it is concerning. But, but there are plenty of reasons for optimism, says Dr. Alessandro Setti, a researcher at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology. The first comes from studies on monkeys that reveal exactly how many antibodies we need. The drop that has been in Moderna is a drop of sixfold, but you're still well above the level that is necessary to protect from infections. Another reason for optimism? Antibodies are not the only part of our immune system. There are also memory B cells and T cells, Dr. Seti's specialty. He and his team published new research Wednesday showing the vast majority of T cells in COVID survivors still recognize the UK variant, and their models are showing the same thing for the South Africa variant. It seems that 90% of the T cells response would be not affected by uh, the mutations that are found in this variants. Translation? It might not prevent the infection, but from what we know, it may actually uh, make the disease a lot less severe. He says another key point about these variants is that they actually share a lot of the same mutations, even though they evolved separately in different parts of the globe. It is quite possible that the virus already uh, used all the tricks in terms of uh, uh, variations. Uh, that could do because you see the same thing in South Africa, the same things in uh, in Brazil. He says that suggests one vaccine booster shot might be all we need, if we even need one at all. Since mRNA vaccines are built using genetic code, they can be updated quickly. Pfizer says it could update its vaccine in six weeks, meaning it could be ready for public release in a matter of months. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Now, scientists believe these variants are more contagious, but there is mixed data on whether they're any more deadly. Yesterday, researchers in Minnesota detected the first case of the Brazil variant in the U.S. The South Africa variant has not been found here yet.